To have an auction on your website, first thing obviously is to go to edit your website. Next you're going to select pages and then you're going to add a page that is not linked. Out of the options for pages, you're going to select blog. You can pick whichever one of the templates you like. I personally like this one that has a bunch of different pictures because those will be replaced by the pictures for the auction. Now you're going to rename it and then you can edit the picture and edit the captions. Once you've decided what you want the caption to say, you can play around with formatting. I suggest adding in a starting bid and a final bid. Once that is done, you can go back to pages and insert a blank page. Rename it like you usually would, make it something that you will be able to remember. Add blank and insert content by hovering over the circle or dot and you are going to insert a grid. From that grid, you'll have the option of which blog to insert, and you're going to pick the blog you just made. You'll have the option to play around with the layouts. You can change the aspect ratio, the column width, you can make it a carousel, whatever you like. You also have the option to edit the display. I personally remove the date posted. You can also change the number of items. I believe it goes up to 30. If you need to exceed 30, I recommend adding in another blog. You would do that by inserting a second grid and adding a blog that corresponds. Make sure you save your work and now when you go to the page, you can click and see how everything will be displayed. Once again, hover again to insert content. You can add an image. There are two ways to add an image. You can upload your own or you can use the stock photos provided. Since you're doing an auction, I'm assuming that you will be using your own photos, but for the sake of simplicity, I've used the stock photos for this. You're going to repeat this process, adding as many photos and captions as necessary. And for some reason, you're going to have to upload the photo or the information that will appear last first. So you're inserting them in reverse order or else it comes out weird. This is just how Squarespace does it. And then you're going to publish that. Once you've done that to your satisfaction, you're going to go back to the page of the auction. Once everything is to your liking, you now have your auction. Here's an example of an auction that we recently did. Um, it was a fundraiser for artists, black artists. So this is what it looks like from the blog page. And then when you select the actual auction itself, people are able to scroll down and look at the pieces individually. So this is what it looks like on a cell phone, and these are what the pieces that we uploaded look like. So you can change the number of cells or the number of um, boxes that you can have in a specific column, something to match the way you would like your formatting to look. 
From there, you can add a button so people can actually bid. Thanks for watching.